So today we're going to be working on one point perspective and you're going to need a pencil sharpener, a ruler and a rubber in case you make mistakes. Right, on your white piece of paper, first of all get your ruler and draw a horizontal line. My camera's a little bit wonky here so you have to imagine that this is actually a horizontal line. And I'm just marking it horizon line because that's where your eye is on the horizon. And in the middle I'm marking a focal point and I'm going to take all of my perspective from this central point and this is what the ruler is for. First of all you're going to start by creating a road. So one line comes at one angle and then you're going to draw a symmetrical line from the other side and this is going to create your road and you've got to make sure that everything comes from the focal point right in the middle of your horizon line. Now I'm going for another line in a moment which I'll explain what this line is and I'm going to put a higher line above the horizon line now because on the right this can be anything you like this could be trees but I'm actually going to make some telegraph poles here and because of perspective the poles are closer together in the foreground and they're further apart as they get nearer towards you and this creates the illusion of depth and I'm just going to put a horizontal line at the top to make the top of the telegraph poles all the way into the distance and then on the left hand side you could create anything you like here because this is your picture it can become anything you like this could be more telegraph poles um, you could create a line of houses anything and I thought here I would just make a little house on the left so first of all draw your lines for the top and the bottom of the house again using the line in the point in the middle the focal point and then angling your ruler from that and these are now the sides of the house and they are completely horizontal level with your horizon line and I'm just putting a little triangle on the end of the house which is the end of the wall there we are and then there's a roof now if you make sure that everything is either vertical or it comes from that central point so you just swing your ruler around from that central point all the time and then everything will work in your perspective so here I'm putting in some little windows into my into my house I'm putting the details, perhaps they could be little sash windows in the front of the house there and a little doorway and here we've got a little path going up to the road but you make up exactly what you want and here I thought I'd put in a light, little line of trees again the trees get smaller and closer together the nearer they are to the horizon line so put the trees get smaller and closer together and here is going to be a side road joining onto the main road right down the middle of the road you can put the white lines going down the middle of the road now these white lines need to get longer as they get nearer to you so smaller further away and longer as they get closer to you and there I'm just putting in a garden fence at the back of the house but you can make up whatever you like because it's your picture so you don't have to do the same as me at all you could have fields at the back of the house or anything you like or more houses here I realised I just needed to move 
the fence a bit further back to line up with the back of the house. So that's where your rubber comes in useful there. Just shading it in there. And adding a bit more to the porch at the front of the house. But once you've got the hang of this, you can create whatever it is you like. They could be tower blocks. It could be a train on the, on the railway tracks or something like that. So the main thing is just to have a go at drawing in perspective. And here I thought if I just did it very lightly, I could actually sketch in the clouds, again using the same idea of making them bigger and further apart as they got towards you and smaller into the background and we've got some mountains right at the back some quite small mountains and these are the lines which um, go between the telegraph poles joining them up just reinforcing those telegraph poles a bit more but these could become trees or anything you like And here, whatever you've got at home, you can add colour if you like here. So if you've got oil pastels or paints or just coloured pencils, you could actually add a little bit of colour to your drawing. So I'm putting in a bit of sky here in watercolour. Painting in the road. But use your imagination and make this make this scene into anything you like. It's your picture. The important bit is to start with your horizon line and your focal point right in the middle, just one little point with your pencil. And then you pivot all the lines coming out from that one focal point. So we're assuming that this is a very flat landscape so that there aren't there aren't any hills until the mountains right in the background so that all the lines converge together at the focal point. Well, those mountains went a little bit too dark. They were going to be blue, bluey purple mountains. That's a better colour on the left. Just take a bit off there with a paintbrush. And here I'm just using a bit of a coloured pencil just to reinforce some of the detail. So you can mix paint and pencils together quite happily. Here we are, just a bit of purple into the shadows in the windows and at the end of the at the end of the house, just to make it look a bit more 3D. But I'm looking forward to seeing 
what you come up with and see what your imaginary landscapes look like. And that's the final thing. So photograph your pictures and send them send them in to me on the task.